Good morning. It's December 15th, the 15th day of Vlogmas. And this is the nativity that my paternal grandmother painted. All ceramic. And it's been my family since I can remember. And when I say my family, I mean like my family of origin that I lived with and grew up with. So it definitely brings a lot of memories back just looking at it. Ellie likes to set it up now every year. This piece, of course, was not part of that original set. My mom acquired it I don't know, sometime in the 80s, I think. We've now entered the dark recesses of the Advent Dungeon, starting at the sock corner. I can't even believe there's still more socks. Um, I guess it's a Christmas puppy <laughs> with a little tree on the top of the, t of the foot. That's kind of cute. All right, Christmas puppy. It is the 15th. No idea what's in store. Okay, so we have Daisy, also non festive. Interesting. Um, I don't know, this Daisy looks kind of weird to me, <laughs> even for a Funko. Day 15 of Wobbles. I think we have another accessory kit. So we have some yellow, some red, some white, and it is a tiny drum. Oh my goodness. A tiny drum. That's pretty cute. Day 15 of Body Shop. Okay, it is not in the top today. But it's right here. Eek. I almost had it. face mask is enriched with community face trade sesame seed oil. Sesame seed oil was one of our first community fair trade ingredients in 1993. It was the year I graduated. Our partners in Nicaragua sow and harvest the sesame seeds by hand. The seeds are skillfully milled and filtered to produce rich, high quality oil. Must be some sort of a face mask. Oh my. Okay, I'm having all the all the problems. Okay, so it is a Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask. Lovely. First I've got to take the trash to the curb and it's raining, so I'm really hoping my umbrella is in the car and um I have friends coming over tonight for Cards Against Humanity. I'm so excited. I have not had a Cards Against Humanity night in four years or more. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I posted a party like just that wasn't our book club party. So I'm very excited. And I think a couple of years ago, we were gonna have a Cards Against Humanity party. It may have been last, like January, February of 2022. And then COVID like resurged, so I decided against it. And Parrish had bought like several new expansion packs that we still haven't used. So I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. And now I'm gonna go see if I can take the trash to the curb. fledged panic party mode. I did not finish editing yesterday's vlog this morning. I need to try and squeeze that in. I think I have time. Um, I just need to get some food started and I still have advents to do and cleaning to do, trash to take out, that kind of thing. So 
it'll get done. I have like four hours, so it'll be fine. Attempting the um, grape jelly meatballs again. I think they cooked too long last time, so they seemed a little burnt. They tasted okay. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't happen this time. Well, day 15 of the advent calendar. Yay. Go, go, calendar time. Okay, I have no leverage, so I'm gonna have to come back. Guys, this cocoa also attacked me. Um, this is Irish cream, so this is the new one for this calendar. So I will try that sometime, not tonight. Somebody has taken over my bed. <laughs> Who could that be? <laughs> She's gonna go see Wonka with her Grammy in a little bit. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is the setup so far. Pairs made either chocolate chip, cookies, Pepperidge Farm, black olives at the beginning of the charcuterie. And yeah, this is just the beginning. So here is the little chip bar with some dips and some chips. Don't mind the stuff back there. Chips and dips. Just focus on the chips and dips. Here is the food table. Little charcuterie. Some cookies, or you saw those earlier, and pinwheels, and a veggie tray. I am so fancy. Here I am, looking kind of bohemian, but not. It's like a, like a bohemian yuppie, like preppy person. But I had a whole point, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy to be recorded, and she stole my chair with my heating pad and my broken back. She doesn't care. Well, it's 12.15. I had my first post-bariatric surgery beverage, adult beverage. Hmm. I'm fine now. I mean, I wasn't sick or anything, but definitely affected me differently. But anyway, um, I kind of put the, most of the food away. I'm going to bed. I'm tired and huh, I'm, I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. So I may not even read. Um, oh, I have a tree on in here still. So I will catch up with you in just a little bit. There is just something to be said for getting in bed at the end of a night of hanging out with people. I mean, there's just something to be said for that. I am bone tired. I've been up for almost 24 hours at this point. Like, okay, like 20 hours, but still, that's closer to 24 hours than to zero hours. But um, it was a lot of fun. We had fun. I hadn't played Cards Against Humanity in like four or five years, like since pre-COVID. And it was just fun. And one of my closest friends and her husband came. And then I had new friends from work that came. Parrish came. You saw her um, tonight. And then mom took Ellie to go see Wonka. And I think they both really liked it. Um, there was way too much food. I always do that. Like, I always over-prepare. I think in the future for parties, I need to under-prepare. So the food will all be gone. And I don't have to put it away at the end of the night. Um, anyway, there was that, and I would really like to sleep in tomorrow. I know it won't happen. Um, I plan tomorrow to bake cookies all day, which kind of is making me want to poke my eyeballs out now, thinking about it. But it's been on the agenda for a while, so those are going to be my gifts to my coworkers, um, for the holiday season. So anyway, I'm going to just unwind for a little bit and go to sleep. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And if you did, stick it out with me. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.